Watch as I create a 30 second nature observation for nature's wild things. See my workflow process in Final Cut Pro X for transforming raw video footage into something ready for publishing. These videos are used in the Nature Field Guide, Nature's Wild Things, through Nature Discovery website. Today's edit session features a red shoulder hawk and many blue jays. This raw video is from a photo walk on March 22, 2017, and it was in one of the parks located in Cabarrus County, North Carolina, and that is in the United States. work with here today it looks like about a minute's worth of video so let's drag this video right down to the timeline and what we want to do is show in this video that uh, the Blue Jays just don't want this uh, beautiful red-shouldered hawk around so let's take a look at what the Blue Jays are doing here they're taking swipes at the hawk and uh, the swipes happen pretty darn quickly um, the flybys uh, happens pretty quick so we're gonna have to slow motion some of uh, the action of what's going on here you can see how quickly the the uh, bird flies by there and uh, wind noise and slow motion doesn't make for good audio, so we're just going to turn that audio off here. Get us into the timeline with the video clip. And let's start working at uh, editing this clip to show the flybys. And we'll go one frame at a time here. And what we want to do is we want to just the first frame where we cannot see the bird we want to cut the video clip and I'll use my little tool here and I cut it now when we watch the video you don't see the cut but the clip itself is cut so that we can edit it and uh, so what we can do here is just go to the point where the bird is out of frame and we'll do a cut here too and let's go and look for the next flyby here and let's watch for the flyby let's see where it happens there's a little flyby but we don't want that one let's see here all of this dead air basically this uh, on uh, interesting video of just the hawk looking around we can cut out and then we can also expand there's the next flyby we'll call that the low flyby and let's just take it one frame out and let's click it there and let's go a few frames he's not in the frame long and let's click it there right there let's find the next flyby here and we'll just keep doing this and then we'll go through and delete the the dead air big pieces here and uh, see how long our video is then there's that little bird popping up but there's the dramatic flyby we want so let's look at uh, just want the other bird that kind of a distraction out of frame there we'll call this the the cut point right here and let's find where he's off frame there we go and we'll cut that there now a little bit uh, there was another one that one snuck up on me there a little bit let's go back right there 
and we'll cut it there. So we're really cutting the, th the clip up so that we can do our deletes here. Get rid of the non-action sequences, you might say. There is another little one. So they've made uh, quite a few swipes uh, here or or near flybys. Blue Jays are definitely uh, not wanting this hawk around and the hawk finally gets the idea and flies off. Leave just a little bit of tree blowing around and let's cut again here. So now let's go back to our select tool just by hitting A on the keyboard. We don't need the tree just blowing around in the wind. We want that slow fly off. We don't need this piece of video right here. Uh, maybe I took the wrong piece out. Boy, these flybys happen so quick. This is the piece I want to get rid of. Yeah, these flybys just happen so quick. Let me take a look at that again. There's, there's the piece that we don't want in there. And... Uh, I think we don't need this one in here too. So we've got uh, flyby, 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 flyby. Getting a lot of flybys here. And uh, is this the whole big long piece where nothing happens? All right, so we have the uh, established shot where <laughs> It's an awful lot of flying by. Let's take and select. Just, we didn't do that quite right. Let's take and select just everything except the first clip. And let's see what we can do about uh, uh, and let's try right at uh, 10% here. Let's see what that does for us. It puts us way over time here is what it does. So I think my 10% was, let's go 25%. So let's just take a look at what everything looks like at 25%. It should really slow down the, the, the flybys and the swipes here. Okay, we we have a situation where we didn't quite do this one right. Let's chop off this video right about there. And then we have the fly off. So let's take a look at the whole thing. We're halfway there. We can uh, slow down some of the action quite a bit more. And... Uh, some of the flybys aren't as dramatic as the uh, strike and the fly-off, I think. So the strike, this one here, let's uh, decrease this one down to 10%. To That'll give us um, a little bit closer to our time there that we need, uh, 30 seconds. There's one, two... This one comes in. That's a good speed. You can really see see the action. This one was a fairly close strike too. Let's let's slow this down to uh, ten percent there too. Just a matter of getting our timing a little more uh, where we need it to be. Let's take a look here now. One. Slow motion flyby. 
Another faster motion slide on it. Slow motion. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. And then he takes off. All right, so we've we've got a little we've got some places where we can adjust here a little bit. Let's uh, up to twenty seven. This is ten. This one is uh, let's go with ten there too. What are we up to now? We're almost at thirty. So that's the uh, that's the one where we haven't uh, slowed it down, but I think 10 is going to be too much. So let's customize that down to about 20 and see, see where we're at here. And I think that puts us right in the, the ballpark here now. It's uh, just a few frames over, but we can handle that. In fact, uh, I think there's some frames in there of uh, that we can sort of work with to put her right at uh, right at where we need to be. Now, all right. Now it seems to be uh, a little bit of uh, kind of uh, I don't know that there's a little jump at the the cuts here and I'm not happy with that so let's take and uh, highlight the whole timeline here and we're gonna throw uh, dissolves at it here well let's we didn't even have to highlight it but let's take and just throw some dissolves at at, uh, at the cuts and that that I, I just like the transition better when it dissolves it kind of indicates when you're watching the video time has expired Okay, and then he decides to get out of Dodge. I'm not sure what we saw here. Just like that one. I don't know, something happened too quick there. I think what we did is we missed the, the, the bird flying by here. Let's take a look at this again. I think we've got a little piece of the bird flying by in there is what our problem is. All right, so he basically looks around. One of the ways we could edit this is to uh, just uh, take this frame here and let's just We can make this so that all we see is him being alerted that, hey, there's a bird coming. I think that's a good way to start it off. 
and then what that does it actually gives us a little more uh, time here we have uh, a little under a second to to adjust we could just make the the tree waving a little longer we uh, we have some options here um, that's a that's a dramatic fly by there let's let's start with just customizing this one I know this has taken a long time to tweak, but that's what happens when you're editing videos and trying to tell stories sometimes, especially when you're trying to make a 30 second uh, video here. You can imagine what the, the video producers go through when they're producing 30 second commercials for television, where they shoot for a day or two days on the set and then they have uh, the task of trying to edit everything down to uh, a, a good flowing 30 seconds. There's uh, the one, there's the second flyby, there's the swipe. It's amazing how the hawk doesn't even acknowledge that close flyby there. He keeps his eye on the bird there, flyby again there and then he just decides to take off. Nice, fairly smooth flowing. We get pretty darn close to our, our uh, 30 seconds. And uh, this is the most dramatic one, I think. Let's just see what we're at uh, in the custom time there. Let's just go to nine. That might put us over just a little bit. Um, how's that look? That's a nice slow. Really see the action. Observe what's going on. Observe that uh, beautiful blue jay. If we have uh, anything there, we have a little space to, uh, to work with uh, right at the very end there. So I'm liking where this is headed, and uh, there we're we're right about time. I'm gonna stick a dissolve here at the end. How's that look? He's flying off, dissolve away. That looks good. All right, I think we have another 30-second nature observation in the can. And remember, nature's wild things can be found on the internet. YouTube, on Twitter, and on Facebook. See you next time.